Fruit production in Croatia's Neretva Valley is big business. Around 90% of the people in this region are involved in the fruit industry, producing over 70,000 tons of the main crop, the mandarin, for domestic and international markets every year. But there's a problem, the Mediterranean fruit fly. This pest lays its eggs in the fruit, and when the larvae develop, they start to feed, damaging the pulp and the livelihoods of the farmers and exporters. The Mediterranean fruit fly is a pest of the huge economic importance for this area. The reason of this is because uh, the Neretva Valley is producing over 90% of the mandarins of, of the Croatia. And from this total production, more than 70% is exported to the countries which don't accept the residues of the pesticides on the fruit, but also because of the quarantines, quarantine reason, don't allow to import fr infected fruits. Around a third of the fruit is currently being destroyed by the flies. So Croatia needs to find a way to produce pest-free fruit without the use of insecticide. They're doing this in cooperation with the International Atomic Energy Agency and the FAO, or Food and Agriculture Organization, using the sterile insect technique, known as SIT. This method works by using radiation to sterilize male flies that are produced in mass rearing facilities. They're released into the wild, where they breed with females, who in turn produce no offspring. So the wild fly population is suppressed. We still don't have the complete data, but what we have seen in cooperation with Croatian Center for Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs is that the percentage of fruit flies in the areas treated in comparison to the untreated areas differs significantly. That gives us the right to assume that with a larger, more structured use of this technique, we could realize significant results. Flies are trapped in the release areas to see if the sterile flies are outnumbering their wild counterparts. This is done using ultraviolet light to identify the wild from the sterile flies, which are marked with a special dye prior to release. Fruits from the SIT area and from those not involved in the project are screened and compared for levels of infestation. And to check whether sterile males can compete with their fertile counterparts, flies are observed while mating in field cages. The farmers are happy with the results. I think SIT is the only long-term answer. It might seem expensive at the start, but if you explain it to the farmers, they will gladly accept it, even cover part of the costs. I think it would be better if the Ministry of Agriculture would get involved and coordinate with distribution centers and exporters. Me as a producer, I'm naturally interested in a healthy product, one without fruit flies and one without pesticides, so the fruit can be sold anywhere in Europe. The Mediterranean fruit fly is not just a Croatian problem. The fly is one of the world's most destructive pests and can be found in fruit-growing regions all over the world. There are other projects in other parts of the world like Guatemala, all Central America to just to create pest-free areas or low pest prevalence to allow to export to uh, markets like Japan, US, uh, uh, Chile just turn with this technique in the northern part of the Chile a few years ago turn uh, a, a, a country free of the Mediterranean fruit fly which give them enormous advantage to reach international markets. Croatia is planning to increase its mandarin production to around 150,000 tons in the next few years. If the sterile insect project continues to be a success, this will mean less fly damage, a healthier product for the consumer, and a brighter economic future for the people in this region. <laughs>